Hey, what's up, travelers? We are in Taya, Thailand, and in this video, we are going to the world's largest 7 Eleven. Even if my pocket's empty, I don't really want to go to work. Mm, no, no, no. It is so sweet under the sun. I'm going to take my time. Because I don't really want to go to work. We are standing outside the largest 7-Eleven in the entire world. 7-Eleven Pattaya. And let's go in and check this place out. Grab my bag and take my phone. I shut the door and walk into the light. Oh, yeah. And suddenly my phone is ringing. I can hear my boss shouting at me. You know what? He wants me to hurry, but I will not control my feet. Even if my pocket's empty, I don't really want to go to work. It is so sweet under the sun. I'm gonna take my time. Cause I don't really want to go to work. Now that I'm hearing all these wonderful songs in my All right, so we are sitting currently at the world's largest 7-Eleven. This place is crazy. It looks like a cruise ship on the outside and on the inside. It continues that theme. It's even got a crazy-ass robot running around. I don't know what it does, but it just runs around the top of the building. It's really kind of interesting. It's even got this gigantic screen that... It, that looks like an aquarium uh, so it's like you're underwater in the ocean that's it's really kind of cool yeah the bathrooms are themed with women are mermaids and men are pirates you know they've got all kinds of ready to eat stuff that you can grab beverages like weird little merchandise like clothing for kids and stuff like that and then it's also got two cafes one is upstairs one is downstairs so I picked up a few things. Uh, of course, got to get the big gulp when you're at 7-Eleven. I would have got a Slurpee, but the damn machine was not in service. 
and that sucks because there aren't very many slurpee machines here in Thailand. I ended up getting a cheese sausage croissant and then a chocolate croissant and then I also got a Hawaiian pizza which came with a little packet of oregano, chili powder, chili sauce, mayonnaise, and ketchup um, that you can just add to it whatever you want and uh, yeah so let's check it out oh man I can't believe I did that I just totally reviewed this whole thing and I didn't push record I didn't even realize I wasn't recording and that sucks well luckily we still have a little bit of this but I guess we'll go back through and we'll say what's going on well we'll review this anyway so this croissant and it's nice and airy inside the chocolate and the almond is absolutely delicious and it's kind of got the feeling of like a buttermilk cooler with chocolate on it it's really really delicious mm. uh, that the sausage uh, croissant so it's really kind of weird it's a, it's a chicken sausage and the sausage itself is very good but the croissant it's got this this weird sweet sauce over it. it's kind of like a caramelized honey sauce it was a little bit weird but it was it was good it definitely definitely worth trying uh, would I get it again I don't know I think I'd probably try something else but it's pretty good and then this pizza so I ended up getting a Hawaiian pizza and you know it's about what I expected it's uh it's a 7-Eleven pizza. I mean, let's be honest. And it was only 79 baht, so that's just basically just barely over two dollars for two bucks. It was a very, very good little pizza. Can't complain. Definitely worth the time. Yeah, of course, you can't come to a 7-Eleven without getting yourself a big gulp. So here in Pattaya, there are a ton, and I mean a ton of 7-Elevens. They're everywhere, but there's only one of them that's the biggest in the world. Unfortunately, it's about a half hour to 45 minute walk away from the beach. You could take a taxi or a grab, and it's going to take about the same amount of time, and it's going to cost you about 3 to $5 to get there. That's what I did because you know, it's about 95 degrees Fahrenheit today. I figure I'll probably walk back, see a part of the town that I haven't seen yet. Definitely come here because this place is its pretty cool. Plus you get bragging rights and a cool story that you went to the largest 7-Eleven here in the world. And, I mean, let's be honest, that's pretty cool. Alright, well, if you've enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And as always... Go to the world's largest 7-Eleven. <laughs>